What is up guys? Today we are running Steelbender. Hopefully this trail doesn't earn its name with us today. So this is our final day of wheeling. At least it's my final day of wheeling. We've been running progressively harder trails since we've been out here at Moab, and this is the hardest one on the list. So really been looking forward to this one because the obstacles look like they're the most challenging of all the ones we've had so far. And uh, we've got a good mix. We've got four-door Jeep, got a short side-by-side, first-gen four-runner, a two-door Wrangler, and then in the front, we've got a nice low Tacoma. So I think it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be great to see all the different vehicles approach these obstacles and see how they each handle them. Hey, good We're job recording of the videos, Kyle. <laughs> Thanks, man. What are you airing down to? About 9.2. I need to be precise. Whoa, that is precise. He's pulling out the decimal. This is the lowest I've aired down to so far because I'm still kind of experimenting with the tires on the Wrangler. I've got six in the back and five in the front. So pretty low. We'll see how it handles it. I think we're gonna notice a much better ride. My goal with this video was to capture the experience of being on this trail and the difficulty of it using a lot of angles and two cameras. So hopefully you guys can get a good sense of whether or not you feel comfortable driving this trail when you come out. Steelbender is a Jeep Badge of Honor trail with Jeep rating it as 6 difficulty. There's plenty of steady action once the trail gets it going and the trail progresses with only a few bypasses offered. The Red Rock 4 wheelers rate it as 6. One thing they don't talk about with this trail is the views. They're not huge lookouts but the terrain is still very picturesque pretty much throughout the whole trail. This series of ledges is a really fun obstacle and Aaron's long wheelbase makes yeah, easy work buddy. of it. Very nice. My wheelbase just wasn't long enough to put the front tires up top to grab, so after a few attempts I just went around. I really like Greg's first gen 4Runner. It's set up with simplicity in mind and features a lot of DIY fab work. It seems to be perfect for this trail.
Very nice. I'd say this obstacle is really the showcase for this trail. It offers three different lines from left to right, ranging from medium to hard to super flexy on the far right side. Yeah, that looks good. Passenger. There you go. We decided to throw a safety rope on the YJ just in case things got squirrely and luckily we didn't seem to have needed it. I think he even needed that room. for me always makes me walk
All right, Mark. Well, we made it. It's our last trail here in Moab. We're getting ready to head home tomorrow. Just had one heck of a time out here, especially thanks to all these guys leading the trail runs, people helping us out with tools that I forgot, I forgot my air down tool. And a huge thank you to Brian. He's been out walking the trails, recording. And that is one of the hardest parts, hiking all these hills and uh, jumping up and down the rocks, trying to get those good angles for everybody. So. Huge thanks to them. Uh, Moab is as special as I thought it was. It's uh, definitely a bucket list item checked off, but what's next for us is getting the Samurai out here and trying that out and definitely making some improvements on the YJ before we come out here again because the YJ suspension is just a little stiff, not flexing. We need to get that wheelbase lengthened a little bit too because some of these climbs are just a little bit too much. You saw there was one in this video where I had to get tethered off. It was like a safety rope just to make sure I was gonna go over backwards. You know, I'm glad I did it because we lived a wheel another day. But if you're thinking about coming out to Moab, definitely do it. If not for the wheeling, just for the views. I mean, look at this. It's like everywhere you go out here, it's just so picturesque. Fun of fun stuff to do out here. Uh, looking forward to hitting it again next year if everything lines up. Thanks for checking out this series, guys. I hope you liked it. Comment down below if there's something you'd like to see different next time or for our next trail run. Thanks for checking out this video. See you guys next time.